Rutger. Uh, English, I would say Rutger. Uh, I'm 25 years old and I'm a musician. My name is Jenna. I'm 25. I moved to Amsterdam last July to start my master's at the University of Amsterdam. I studied guitar. I'm done now for four years and I kind of got into songwriting and producing with it. I partly live in Mannheim, partly live in Amsterdam. I read a few standard expat blogs about Amsterdam before I moved here saying like, well, Dutch people are rude or like everyone's just wearing denim all the time, Dutch people have bad style and then you know I go to the library every day at the UVA and I <laughs> can't believe like how good you know the style is, everyone is so well dressed here and I you know I see no problem with wearing denim all the time. Women in Amsterdam are a little bit spoiled I think. Not to put myself on a higher ground or anything but it's like you you notice it when you're just trying to hit on a girl in a bar there's always this kind of, like, if it's not you, then five minutes later, there's another guy trying it. I think there are a lot of negative attitudes in the expat community about dating in Amsterdam. And I think the main ones that you'll hear would be a Dutch guy will never approach you in a bar, a Dutch guy will never buy you a drink. If you don't have sex with a Dutch guy on the second date, he's never going to talk to you again. You know, you can always find a way to fit stereotypes to this situation, but I definitely have gone on <laughs> more than two dates with someone without sleeping with them and we still continue to go on dates and that was you know not a problem. I tried Tinder, not in Amsterdam, uh, but I went traveling through the States but I actually didn't have one Tinder date at all. A lot of people say well yeah all these Dutch people are so direct. I think it's nice. I think a lot of times in America we have a tendency to be very fake towards people. I kind of know from the American girls that I've met and some just became friends, uh, like they've had way more sex than Dutch girls or like any European. They see it differently. They have a little bit more of I don't give a shit, which I kind of like. Hi. Hi there. Hi, I'm Jenna. Hi, I'm Rutger. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I have to go in there. Yep. All right. Well, this is not bad. No, it's not. Perfect, perfect day for it, right? This is lovely. Jenny, right? Jenna. Jenna. Yeah. Yeah. Rutger? Yes. Yeah. Rutger. 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 The R is still a little bit difficult for me. <laughs> what do you study? I'm doing my master's in medical anthropology. So it's basically like the study of the kind of social and cultural dimensions of health and healthcare. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's not a small topic. So what do you do in Amsterdam? I'm a musician. Oh, okay. That's cool. Thank you. Love that. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. To the best first date I've ever had, I think. Mm. Okay, I was a little bit nervous about the whole hot tub aspect. Maybe last week I was thinking, oh, I need to, this is inspiration to go to the gym more. But then I kind of actually just, you know, forgot that I was in a, in a hot tub. I'm surprised how many people live here for five or six years and, you know, don't know. learn a word right. of Dutch because yeah. it's kind of like, I think it's fun. I mean, it's honestly, it, it, yeah, it's difficult, but it's not that difficult. And people complain, well, like, Dutch people are always speaking to each other in Dutch. And like, yeah, well, it's their <laughs> native language. Of course they are. It's far uh, more comfortable. Like, <laughs> like I'm fine. Obviously. Right. Tattoo and bracelets and necklaces. I think that was my first impression because I, you know, usually date pretty like clean cut sporty guys. So I'm like, you know, at most maybe they have like a, I don't know, some kind of athletic bracelet on or something. So what kind of music do you play? What's the, the band that you're in? I started guitar, so guitar is my main mm -hmm. instrument. Uh, that's always, so I have this. I have, <laughs> like I, I go to a nail studio every three weeks. Really? Yeah, it's just oh, really wow, bad. you go to a nail studio more than I do. <laughs> yes. It's really gay, actually. But it's only one hand. Maybe a little bit typical American girl. In some conversations, she kind of walked over specific topics in a way. But yeah, I think she's, she's, she's a nice open person that does what she wants and kind of knows what she wants. But I'm not sure if we would be a love couple. I'm not necessarily like, oh, I you know, really felt like we were you know, having like a ton in common or, you know, interest-wise or lifestyle-wise. You know, our thesis is doing like seven weeks and uh, yeah. it's like 20,000 words. And so yes. things are a little bit crazy That's right now. I'm like, maybe right. I need to tone down my social life a little bit. Right. Yeah, that's something that I'm not super familiar with. Really? Do you usually have a lot of, no, no, I like guess, free time or flexibility with being a musician? Yes. Okay. 
to you a little bit more of like a free form kind yes. of person. I, okay. I, I very much like the freedom of deciding okay. what I'm going to do when. Yeah. I tend to be, you know, a pretty structured person who, you know, tends to kind of date guys who are a little bit more similar to me in that sense. She's definitely interesting, and but I'm, I'm like, I didn't really have a connecting point feeling like, ah, like we're definitely like, ah, this is something that we can, that we both experienced that wasn't really happening. Seven, I think, but I'm a, I'm a tough grader. I would rate the whole experience uh, seven and a half. That was right. a good day. Yeah, it was.